I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Bills to Phoenix, Phoenix, two countries, one heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly Chica Chica, Chica update. update. If you're new to this channel, please keep watching and please for don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you hopefully get new notifications because there's some really cool stuff happening in the next few months. Yep. That it's been a little bit since you know our, our chicas are getting a little bit off of date here. Normally they're on Mondays, but today we kind of got a special update that we thought about giving you an update Monday, but we really didn't know. Yeah. That Cindy hasn't been feeling terribly well, been real tired, been sick in the mornings, and a lot going on. And so when Jill came into town that her and I talked about it and decided that it'd probably be a good idea for her just to go to Sabuga for a week yeah. and just let her go by herself and rebound with family and just get some time to, to, to try and unpack and de-stress. Yeah. And by Thursday, when it was time for me to get ready to go and pick her up, my, uh, go down and meet up with her on Friday, yeah. that she asked about and I'd been teasing her about, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? And she said, why don't you go grab a test kit and bring it down? And so I did. And Saturday, we, Saturday morning, that we did the test kit and... It turns out it's positive! I was like scared and worried. I'm like, is this real? Is this false alarm? So Monday, we came back here in Cebu City. And guess what? That, yeah, that was kind of fun. That, uh, Monday, we went to the doctor's office, the OBGYN. Yeah. OB-GYN. ob, -gyne. ob -gyne. And they wouldn't let me in. Uh, COVID, so. COVID protocols, so. But they talked with Cindy and decided that they were going to go straight to an ultrasound uh, with the complications that she has. Yeah, because I have PCOS, polycystic ovarian, ovarian C syndrome, something like that, yeah. And um, I'm older, and so they were, were very concerned about it being an abnormal or even possible not viable uh, embryo, and that they wanted to make sure what was going on. And the radiologist keeps Tuesday, Thursday hours at Velez Hospital. Yeah. And the OBGYN, the ob <laughs> keeps yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Friday hours at yeah. Velez. So we went down Monday and found, that, found this out and found out we needed to go back on Tuesday. Tuesday morning. So we went back Tuesday morning and they took ultrasounds. And you'll see the pictures right here. And yeah, I'm seven weeks uh, pregnant and two days at that time. So now since it's Friday, I would be five days. <laughs> I've been turning eight weeks, so two months. So yeah, that's the good news. We are pregnant. I like how she says we. <laughs> yeah. It's not just me, right? It may be one, one of us is pregnant, and the other one just has to deal with that fact. <laughs> you need to say it, we, because it needs two people. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we are pregnant. We are pregnant. That we have a little pumpkin spice coming into our life. Yeah. That the uh, radiologist's uh, best guess for due date is October, October 31st, 31st Halloween that potentially we're going to have a Halloween baby yeah uh, but that is our big update for this and what has been going on and why we haven't been posting pretty much anything that we've taken some video that what we could that like I say with all the doctor's appointments with that I'm not allowed in 
Uh, and they've asked the radiology asked no no video no photo video. Yeah. And at the uh, OB guy that the partners or second or you know organs are not allowed to get inside. Uh, so it, it's been a little bit like that, but we have been taking some, and we got some video of our initial reaction when we took a look at the uh, uh, ultrasound. And somebody got to hear. Somebody got. Oh, hear the heartbeat! Something like that. 132 per. Per minute. Per minute, yeah. And so we are definitely going to bring begin a wonderful new adventure. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't really have our. It, yeah, it's interesting. It's just like we don't know. So. And a lot of it's just that that, that right now we don't know that we had kind of planned on trying to do some traveling and stuff like that, and, and obviously some of that's going to be put on indefinite hold. With me pregnant, so yeah. Uh that we're still planning on. A uh, friend of ours is coming down in April, and we are planning on trying to go to Bentayan Island. Uh, another good friend of ours is opening a restaurant possibly in May down in Mindanao, and if travel is, will allow, yeah. we, we'd like to go down there for his grand opening and, and give him in-person support. Yeah. Uh, but really, after that point, we're not sure how much, if any, traveling we're going to be able to do. Uh, and the other thing we've talked about is whether or not we want to go back. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. So we will have an intense discussion on that. So. Go, b go back to the U.S.? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, we have already plans on that. So I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We've talked about going back to the U.S. and... And we don't. We are not planning to go back. That for a lot of reasons, and especially during a pregnancy, that uh, it, it's affordable here. Yeah. The ultrasound cost us twenty-one bucks. The yeah. the two doctors' visits were ten bucks each. Yeah. Yeah, and copays are more than that, and neither one of us has uh, insurance in the U.S. at this point. Yeah. So yeah, as far as during a pregnancy, no, we don't plan on going back. Yeah. Uh, after. I've never tried to fly with a uh, uh, an infant, especially that young, and on that long of a flight. So it may be a while before we uh, before we go back to the states. It may be quite a while. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's going to be a lot of changes that we're uh, we plan on staying here until September anyhow. So that's probably not going to change. And what we can, we're just gonna wander around and visit mu as much as Cebu as we can. Yep. That's actually it. <laughs> the big news was we're, or are, we're pregnant, so. <laughs> and it will be like dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Cause you don't know. What you think, Mr. Rowe? I think it's going to be an interesting journey. Future at this point. Yes. Because we don't really plan on. What's your thought? <laughs> we don't really have plan. We didn't expect to have a kid in the beginning because both of us are infertile and yeah, so it's a blessing. So. Yeah, both of us have been diagnosed as, as infertile independently before we ever met. Yeah. And matter of fact, the doctor uh, made comment that it's the first time that they that she's seen a perfectly normal, perfectly healthy uh, <laughs> uh, fetus w with the, the 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 picos that she has, yeah. and especially with with my advanced and she included my advanced age, uh, <laughs> that that she was really expecting to see it. Uh, she was impressed with the ultrasound and my ovaries and how, you know, it's so healthy and yeah, and I was so happy in that, like, pregnant. 
praise God, you know, praise Jesus. Like. Yeah, see, this is definitely a, a, a gift from God, unquestionably. And uh, it, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be kind of a scary thing that uh, Cindy and I talked a little bit last night, and I made comment that at this point, uh, I'm going to be raising kids for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's scary for Sean. <laughs> uh, that, that I'm 50, I'm turning 56 here in a few weeks. I'm turning 35. So when we have a 20 year old kid, I will be 55. It's okay. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make it to 77 to see. At their least when I'm birthday. in senior, I have someone. <laughs> 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 if he put me in assisted living, that's fine. That is the Philippines. Or I'll that. just stuck in my parents' house. So. That, uh, At least someone will send me money when I get old. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, that's, uh, not, that's not going to happen. It's different. You know, culture is different. So, well, looking forward to bringing up both cultures. And yeah, you will we'll keep you updated. Yeah, because at, at this point, and, and this is subject to change, at this point, we're probably going to raise raised baby here uh the private schools good you know good private schools are, are affordable here yeah. universities are still affordable here yeah. uh that we're going to start looking around in no hurry in this one but we're going to start looking around and seeing if we could find some place to to buy and give little pumpkin a uh uh, yard to play in when they're when they're getting toddler and all that fun stuff and just see where it goes from here but at this point with this current development Cebu City is probably going to be our, our, our new home yeah and we're just going to take it from there and, and definitely take it day by day yes definitely so Everything happens for a reason. Oh, the Bahala na Dios. Yeah, only God knows. <laughs> Mabuhay. Bye.